up, man. Back with some more shit, dog. Now we gotta fucking talk about this nigga Kanye, even though <laughs> niggas done did like everybody three. Talk about everybody that. talking about it is really over and done with. For for me, he over and done with. You know what I'm saying? I never had a personal relationship he with, did the nigga with the nigga. He did with the coach. Yeah, he, he did. did with it. He did. Um. I think I think the 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 main problem with me is it's clear that you only come out and speak and want to be heard when you're trying to sell something. Yeah, and you know what's the funny thing, and and and, and I'm gonna give your give your your card on this one because I see you you posted it, yeah. and when I see you posted it, I, it made a whole lot of sense. I say, um. Uh, Everybody saying fuck them, but they put them Yeezys on every day. Man, tell me about it. Um, Everybody I think that's saying the, fuck them, but they ye they Yeezys eat up. Um, I think that that people who have Yeezys are not saying fuck Kanye though, nah, because somebody somebody with some Yeezys is saying fuck Kanye. Well, well, see, the thing is. You can't tell me that because there's yeah. a lot of people with Yeezys, man. Yeah, and, and this is my whole and thing. Everybody not supporting that shit. No, nah, they not, but people don't want to give up them Yeezys because they feel like that shit is an investment. But, man, Niggas shit. feel, because if we you, in the... If, if, you, if, you, if you condone sucker shit, you are a sucker. Yeah. And he, a su he is a sucker. You so, feel what I'm saying? Well, let me ask you this, though. Okay. Now... Niggas who have Yeezys, I've never even attempted to buy a Not pair of Yeezys. Not gonna buy a pair of Yeezys. Those house shoes. Um, I like the all black high top ones. Yeah, the uh, ones that kind of look like boots. I yeah, I, I fuck like with that. those. Yeah. yeah, them clean. I fuck them with the black ones. and orange ones. The brown ones. And I mean, you can wear any 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 of them, you know. Yeah. But let's be clear: people who have Yeezys are buying them solely because they're Yeezys. Because Yeezys ain't nothing but some fucking yeah, Prestos. Sure. Right. Right. Niggas forget that Yeezys are nothing but Prestos. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. House the, shoes, basically. The other, <laughs> the high top Yeezys are Supers. Yeah. Modified Supers. The other, uh, the the newest ones, the Wave Runners or whatever, them hoes are a mix of Nike Era Tempos, them Dan new, Marinos, and Harachis. Them last shoes are so ugly. So with that, with, with that being said, I say that to say, Niggas are getting Yeezys solely because of the exclusiveness and they feel that they're rare and they feel that they get status because, hey, I came in this bitch with the Yeezys it's on. It's like a designer tennis shoe. That's how niggas feel about it. That's so, how niggas feel about it. Niggas are, niggas are. But it's only a designer tennis shoe because niggas feel like that status that it has. Yeah, you pull it up. Yeah, you pull it up. You being nosy. He didn't pass by twice. He got to see what's going on. But nah, when a nigga sit up there and put them type of shits on, you got to understand that, hey, I'm getting these hoes strictly because they, they Yeezys. I'm a supporter Yeezy. It ain't just the shoe. It's the everything that come with Yeezy. So that nigga making niggas feel like, hey, I'm, I'm the nigga that y'all got to follow with this fashion shit. So a nigga can't knock them niggas on that. But... When this nigga that you follow and sit up there and downplay everything that we stand for as a people, you gotta go and have some type of like oh nah you gotta, nigga you gotta stand we, up. we yeah, done. Yeah, you gotta leave that shit alone, man. Because with the four hundred years of slavery shit, this is the and, and I don't even want to spend too much time on this topic because it's be, it's a dead horse at this point. Right. But when he said that shit about the four hundred years of slavery. If a white man said that he'd be seen that he'd be deemed as a racist. <coughs> we did this all throwing a fit and everybody be fuck that nigga. Fuck him. It's time nigga he done. You know what I'm saying? We had that's that's, that's racist. If a white man How said How they did the clippers on him. Huh? How they did the clippers on him. What you what you mean? Remember when he said something about that racist shit? They got his ass up out of there. The oh yeah, yeah, the clippers on him, yeah. Oh. Yeah, if the that that's what I'm saying, so when we have a word for a black person that speaks on slavery terms, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a coon or Uncle Tom, sellout, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You you got words for those. And in, in his case, I'm just calling that nigga Uncle Ruckus. 
That's Uncle Ruckus, bro. Uncle Ruckus believes that, like, if it, it sit on YouTube where you can go look and see what well, Uncle Ruckus is saying, man. They did them people a, a favor by making them slaves, man. Them niggas there was so lazy, didn't want to work, and the slave owner on that bitch talking about, man. <coughs> the slave owner on that bitch talking about, man, y'all asked me to be slaves. I brought y'all in, man. Why y'all ain't want helping me out? They cussing, hey, master, get your bitch ass on, nigga. Like, that's how Uncle Ruckus <coughs> would tell the story. Like, they had a choice to be slaves. Man, them people ain't had no choice. See, he said some shit. He said some shit about slavery and compared it to the, the thing of like having free thought and, yeah. and having a mind of your own and not being a slave. But you don't compare that to a freedom of not thought. Even, not even just that. You don't bring up slavery after you just wore a hat supporting Donald Trump. Yeah, you don't do that. You, you don't, don't bring do up no, you know, that ain't even yeah. the conversation you bring up, bro. What you got to like, understand. That and then he tweeted, no out, he tweeted out last night, too, that, you know, Harriet Tubman is known for free of thousands and thousands of slaves. She said, I would have freed more, but a lot of them didn't know they were slaves. Yeah. Like, nigga, I how do believe, you... I could believe that. Cause hell no, they thought this was the way of life, right, nigga. Yeah. People were, were snatched from their parents as babies. Like, nigga. They, they took these kids and these babies away from their mothers. And you do, you do that. And now they talk by the white man. Hey, nigga, this is your purpose on earth. This all you know. Right. It's the same thing when niggas who 10 years old join Taliban and these other forces in, uh, in, in other countries where they just murking innocent people. They believe that's what they supposed to be doing because that's what they've been taught. They've been brainwashed to do. Exactly. That's how they've been. That's the way they was raised up. So they don't even know they doing nothing wrong. Right. So for him to make them type of comments for his own benefit and, and to cause controversy, bro, that shit's sad, dog. That nigga Niggas will do anything to sell an album, man. Nigga do anything. Then the nigga said, the album, oh, man. he said, man, y'all was gonna make fun of me because I was fat and and uh, he wouldn't got lipo. I wouldn't got lipo, so like I was. What he said he was on? Uh, opiates, he got, opiates. He wouldn't got lipo, man. He wouldn't got you lipo. Like nigga, get your bitch. ass in the gym, nigga. You sound like a hoe, nigga. That hoe do more working out than he do. Hey.